This is Bumper to Bumper TV. If the 2015 North American International Auto Show in Detroit was anything, it turned out to be a showcase for the next generation of trucks for the American market. Nissan is sticking with the full-size Titan pickup. There are of course the expected cosmetic changes to the grill and interior. But the big news is it will now come with a Cummins diesel engine. Nissan is betting its American DNA will resonate with the public. The new Titan was engineered at our Michigan Technical Center. It was designed in California. It was tested at our proving grounds in Arizona. Titan's V8 and V6 engine will be built at Nissan powertrain plant in Tennessee. And of course, Titan will continue to be assembled in Canton, Mississippi. What the brand hopes it will do is to establish the Titan as a workhorse vehicle that can tow more than 12,000 pounds on a single rear axle. In a move to rev up interest, display models are already being sent around to dealerships around the country while the actual delivery is still several months away. Ford, which is still trying to convince buyers that their aluminum body F-150 is a serious contender, went back to a familiar standby with the introduction of a Raptor version. This is the all-new Ford F-150 Raptor. Raptor is the ultimate high-performance off-road pickup. This is what you get when Ford's passion for performance vehicles is combined with our obsession with making the world's best trucks. The all-new Raptor pushes the limits of what a full-size pickup can be. Ram, which has been enjoying some success with its variations on the base truck, decided it's time to get really dirty and came up with the Rebel. Okay, so the name may not be politically correct, but what it does offer is high ground clearance on 17-inch all-season tires, a serious skid plate and underbody protection package, and the familiar 3.6-liter Penstar V6. This engine offers 305 horsepower and 269 pound-feet of torque. If that's not enough, then there is also a 5.7-liter Hemi V8 engine option, which can be ordered. Toyota is hoping a long-awaited restyle of the mid-size Tacoma will make some inroads. The exterior takes a lot of design cues from the bigger Tundra, and under the skin, the drivetrain has a surprise. The, the new Tacoma will be available with either a four-cylinder or an all-new Atkinson Cycle V6 engine. The 3.5-liter V6 is equipped with Toyota's D4S technology, featuring both direct and port fuel injection. And rather than drag up the debut of multiple variations on this model, the company also introduced a TRD version that is aimed at folks who want to go off-road. And even Hyundai is trying to test the waters for a small truck. The brand, which admittedly overestimated the demand for its passengers' cars, gave the public a look at this, the Santa Cruz Concept, a truck-like platform aimed squarely at millennials. So when we set out to design the Santa Cruz, we didn't want to cover the same ground or the same customer as traditional pickups. We focused on the needs of the urban adventurer. First and foremost is satisfying their desire for expression. If you're having flashbacks to a Subaru Brat, well, you're not alone. This concept is so far along in development that there are multiple engine options, including a two-liter turbo diesel envision for the Santa Cruz. So, if Hyundai decides to get into the deep end of the pool of the truck world, there may be a few stops and starts along the way before they get it right. Ladies this is Greg gentlemen, Morris. Please. We want to know what you think, so email us. The address is bumper to bumper tv at cs.com.